episode 33 tired of solo bullet farming hey before the video starts i'm gonna need you to bring some gas yes gasoline this channel kaiser from crete is a fabricator and i farm everything but gas and that gas is your subscription are we clear on that now if you get the gas by subscribing video starts all right looks like we still have a base very nice logs are great too no problem there let's go and look outside So everything looks great, another perfectly safe and secure night has been passed. I just start the day with a good wood run. All plant eggs is ready. A lot of metal waiting for their turn to be cooked. Did you miss this? I didn't. But still, this looks nice. More bullets. I need more bullets. Alright, this is how many bullets I made, but don't worry, I'm not gonna show you how I place them. So, here is one raid defense kit. Not super rich, but better than nothing. I pump HP on this doit, so it won't die easily. Also, here is a 150 wire neck. We get them bigger now. I need wires, right? I think I got this wire neck from a trade. I never went to pick up wire necks so far in the series, so it must be from a trade. Also, here is the thing. I am starting to feel like I am wasting my time here. No matter how hard I try, I can't slot cap all of my heavy turrets. One guy will never be enough, so I am gonna try to recruit some people now i decided that even though i might get inside it or something like that it doesn't matter if i don't have enough to protect all of these it's all gone anyway so i'm just gonna take the risk because i need to make like 200 000 bullets i need a team for that maybe like 20k bullets each day we might survive i was on a meat run but it's nice to kill alpha dinos with a wolf pack Very nice. Let's check the bullets of our new turret tower. Not so bad, but still needs like 8000 bullets just for these towers normal turrets. You know what is this? I am back from a not CP run. Look what I got. 150 fire wire neck. I think I got this from Hell Angels. You know the ally, non-aggression pact. The guy named Juno. You remember that? But just a little note here. This was so long ago. It could be some other people but I am like 90% sure it was them. Because I remember they asking for CP to make the trade. And they live above the beaver area. So it was little weird for them to ask for CP. It's just there. Go get it. Why do you need CP from me? Anyway, I paid too much CP for this egg. But it was really easy to farm for me. It was a lot easier than go get a wiring egg. Since I have never done that yet on this series so let's build an incubation area we have eggs to raise i'm gonna build a two by two just like this yeah that trade was them more bullets are made here Just come here to tame some PTs, but I'm gonna cut this and just come back to the base with the PTs I managed to tame. Alright, this is what I got. Not too many, but all good levels. We can do some breathing now. More and more bullets. 
All right, this is the end of today. And what do we do when the day ends? We do a bass tour. So, whole day of recordings, but I had to cut them out. Mostly repetitive content, and it was barely five minutes. So, that is why we're gonna be moving to the next day. And how is this as a thumbnail? I think I'm gonna use this. All right, welcome to next day. Let's see how is outside. While we do that, look at this chat. Look who is there. It's David. Hey, level 35 David. He is one of the oldest subscribers of this channel. And also, I think he is the top commenter. And we survived another night. Maybe not the night, but I'm gonna call night when I go to sleep. So it's kind of a night for me. Breeding area is not really done. I don't have enough AC for Wyvern eggs, but I can incubate Argentavis eggs and Pteranodon eggs. So, let me show you my Wyvern trap. I made this and then made a video about it, calling this the cheapest wyvern trap, because it was the cheapest at that time. But then Captain Fat Dog came up with a great trap. You'll probably see that trap on official everywhere. It was kind of glitchy, wyvern sometimes were going back and leaving the trap, but then he made another version and made it perfect. Eggs are hatched, very nice, I got one, 229 and another is 225. So 229 stats, let's see, 1400 HP, 480 stem, 187 weight and 375 melee damage, not so bad. And this one has better HP and better weight. Other one has better stem and better melee damage. We're gonna need to combine these stats. Anyway, this is gonna be where we end this episode. Why? Day is not yet over. But next episode will be the end of my solo series. You know how I talk about needing tribe mates. I made my mind about it. I'm gonna take the risk and add some people I met here. On the next clip. I will be adding new tribe mates, but even though this episode is not even 10 minutes, I have to end it right here. I just want to start the next episode with the new tribe mates. I don't want to include them into this episode halfway. I think that will be better as story wise. Like this is the end of my solo series. I'm actually done playing solo from now on. I was kinda staying solo as a challenge. I added some guys some times ago but they left so I kept being solo unvolunteered. I didn't go out and look for a tribe. I was tired of solo for a long time ago, to be honest. But I had to go back to building this space solo because it just didn't get graded for some reason. Anyway, thank you for watching dear watchers. See you at the next episode.